Shalom. Let's begin the day with a prayer. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel from everlasting and to everlasting. Amen and amen. In the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. This was a reading from Psalms 41 and verse 13. There is only one God, and this God that we should serve in this day and time is the God of Israel. In Luke chapter 1, verse 68, you find there, Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he hath visited and redeemed his people. God has redeemed us through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. He is the God of Israel. In Psalms 72 and verse 18, Blessed be the Lord God, the God of Israel, who only doth wondrous things, so wondrous that he brought a Redeemer into this world to save us from our sins. Again we find in Deuteronomy, the sixth chapter in verse four, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. And thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thine heart and with all thy soul and with all thy mind. This is the God of Israel. Isaiah chapter 44 and verse 6. Thus saith the Lord, the King of Israel, and his Redeemer, the Lord of hosts. I am the first, and I am the last, and besides me there is no God. If you have invented for yourself a God, it is separate from this God of Israel. If your God is a pagan God, if your God is another God, God explains himself, the one God, the one God of Israel, he is the one God of the world. He is the only God. He is the creator God. He is Elohim, the creator. He created heaven and earth, the moon and the stars and the sun and all the things that are in the earth. He created man to be his temple. But Adam and Eve wanted to be as gods, not one with God. Let us be one with God and the God of Israel. This God shall be from the beginning to the end. The God of Israel is going to return. 
and he's returning for his people who hear his voice and they walk with him. May the God of Abraham and the God of Isaac and the God of Jacob bless you with understanding of these things. Learn about the God of Israel. And may that God, the one and only God, bless you with this understanding and give you a good and honest heart so that you might understand these things. We pray Christ's name. Shalom.